6 a.m. bright and early in Don. Got the trailer on the back and gonna pick up something new, a new project. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye here. So, what are we doing, Martin? We're having fun. <laughs> Oh, the... my phone's ringing, sorry. Oh, he's got a Getting breakfast, that's what we're doing. Big breakfast. Eating. <laughs> yeah. It's the same as my one, yeah. Oh, right, okay, you're right with that. I thought it was yeah. fine, I thought it went straight away. That probably would have gone with the other battery. <laughs> So we have collected the new project. What do you think? It's great. Don and Donna. Yeah. Spent the last half an hour trying to get the uh, the door, the back door open because it was jammed shut, sort of rusted together, not being used for five years. Bit a bit of um, plus gas, as you can see in the can over there. Let it sit for a while. Took the uh, the door card off the back and uh, gave everything a wiggle and it opened. So that's good. We had to. Put a put the spare on because um, the one of the tires the valve wasn't taking any air, so I had to take it to the shop. Tenor sorted that, got a new valve on. Now it's taking air. Just got to swap them back over. The last owner had a very, very hairy dog. Well, a brush works well for that. So probably not a top tip, but uh, one that does the job. Right, so I am going to take off the plastic trims because, well you can see here, 
the chassis is completely solid, which is amazing. But we have got some crust, crusty stuff on the body down here, as you can see on the seal. So I want to get all of this off so we can assess and see what needs to be welded up underneath the trim. So that's one off. Not exactly pretty, but it's not too bad. There's a few bits, a few bits that need sorting out, especially down here. There's a big old hole, but it's only the sill, so a bit of plating. And I think we got away quite lightly with that. The reason this one has survived so well is because the chassis and underside were under sealed at some point. I think it's waxy oil, but um, look, I'll show you now. You see, I've power washed this, but this, the coating that was on it is coming off. And that is actually clean metal on the chassis. And this is the rear of the chassis leg. You look, these normally rot terribly on these trucks. And that is completely solid, so I'm very happy about that. So after a good session on the power washer, we are back to white again, lovely and clean. Got rid of all that green crap and ranky stuff because it's been sitting for five years. You can't blame it really. Yeah, please, please with the progress already. Engine bay, although it was dirty because it's been sitting, but um, it appears to be pretty well looked after. The oil was right up to the mark. Um, it's a bit black, but it's diesel, they always are. Uh, Clean brake fluid, right up to the mark. In the auto box as well, that's clean and up to the mark almost. Just shoved a new air filter in because that was a bit dirty. It looked like something had made a nest in there one winter. Uh, yeah, new new battery obviously, because um, after five years the original one was completely shot. I think it registered about two volts, so there was no hope for that. But there you go, new battery was only 60 quid, I think it was. Bargain, really. Got a few bits I'm going to change. I'm going to change the radiator cap. I'm going to get a new thermostat. Change the oil anyway, and the auto box fluid at some point. Rad's going to have to have a flush and a new fluid because that's pretty ranky in there. I guess we owe you guys an explanation. You might be asking, why did we buy a 1987 Mark I Pajero that's been sitting around for five years? Well, it was actually quite an interesting story because um, it was only laid up because, uh, unfortunately, the previous owner became ill and could not, could not drive anymore, basically. And um, he has actually passed away now. But um, the people dealing with his estate have been given permission to to sell to sell the car and uh, we were the lucky bidders on eBay got it for a, a pretty decent price I would say and uh, here I am sitting in it now trying to explain to you why you know we have Don already we've spent a lot of time getting that just how we want it to be but yeah I basically fell in love with the car saw it on eBay and I was like wow that is beautiful I uh, if you don't already know I have a thing for really old boxy 4x4s especially from the 80s 90s era so here we go um, this is project number two something I'm, I'm really excited about because I just think the car has got bags of character and it's got a story it's just it's just asking to be restored which uh, it's going to happen slowly. I mean, we can't do it all at once, obviously, because we're not millionaires. But uh, bit by bit, going to get it technically sound first, get it through MOT so I can use it and uh, be working on it here and there. Uh, but I was, I was really happy because my worst fear that the chassis was going to be rotten, which is completely the opposite. Someone, obviously the previous owner or the owner before that, had undersealed it which has completely saved the chassis it is absolutely solid which is amazing i mean we've got a bit of 
crusty bits on the actual body around the rear arches and rear of the seals but I don't think that's too bad I mean it's something that that we can sort out ourselves uh, further further than that you know just gonna get all the fluids and things changed get it on the road and then later we'll look at things like getting it re, re under sealed and um, perhaps getting in the interior re upholstered I don't know it's it's not too bad I mean the driver's seat's a bit taddy, but the rest are pretty nice, and I really love this 80s, you know, turbo, everything. Uh, what is it, like suede, and it's brown. Uh, I just love it. It's so cool. Um, being Japanese, everything is electric. Electric windows, aircon, CD player even. The original CD player has a tape deck as well, but it's, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think they did that in the 80s, but there you go. Um... Yeah, it's whether everything's working, I'm not sure yet. The majority of things seem to be going, the things we need. Um, but it's Japanese and you know they, they're good at their electronics. Uh, a couple of things that I really love, I'll show you now. I've got these little flappy windows. How good is that? Get some extra ventilation. Oh, look, there's the uh, CD player that I was talking about original for some reason it's toyota don't ask me why i know toyota people will be saying oh because they needed the parts because they're better than mitsubishi blah, blah, blah. but but yeah you go if someone knows the real reason please let me know um yeah look, here's the seats nice back it's really cleaned up well actually it's really surprised uh, the dials you got your oil pressure, rolly thing, and voltmeter, and then up here, speedo and rev counter, blah -de -blah, -de blah. Yeah, the journey begins with uh, we have decided to name this car Molly, so now it's Don and Molly. And don't worry, Don is not going to be neglected. He's still going to get a lot of attention. There's going to be two two on the scene now, and. Uh, Lots of fun adventures and restorations and all the good things that you like to see will be coming here on YouTube. It's better. <laughs> That's it, okay.